Hey everyone, my name's Kelsey and it's time for the Big God Story. We've been learning all about how God kept that promise way long ago in the garden and that promise was Jesus. God's people waited a long time for the promised Savior to come. And then in a little quiet town in Bethlehem, Jesus was born. Do you remember that Jesus was introduced to Simeon and the shepherds and Anna. Those were just some of the people that got to see Jesus when he was a baby. But Jesus needed to grow up before he could do his teaching and healing and miracle performing. So for many years, while Jesus was still a child, most of the world continued to wait, not knowing that the Savior had already come. But while they waited, God wanted to get his people ready for the good news that Jesus is here. So God sent a special messenger named John to tell the people that they should get ready to meet Jesus. And remember, we've actually heard about John before. Do you remember when someone named John was born? His father was Zachariah, a priest in the temple. And an angel came and told Zechariah that he would have a son and that God would use his son to help the people get ready for the good news. And that's exactly what John did. When he grew up, he went all around telling people the good news, that the promised Savior is here and that she, they should get ready. Well, I want you guys to do some pretending with me. Let's start by pretending we're asleep. Good job, friends. You wake up with the warm sun on your face. And as you stretch and walk outside, you see your family heading toward a nearby river. Why are they going there? And then, down by the river, you hear some voices. So you slide on your sandals and you grab your coat and you start walking toward the river. You forgot breakfast and your stomach is growling. <laughs> you see your mom, she takes your hand and you gently push through the crowd to find a place where you can see. And finally, you see a man talking. He has really strange clothes on. It looks like they're made out of camel's hair. Sounds really itchy. And your sister says the man's name is John and that he has come to get the people ready for the good news. What do you think the good news is? The good news is the promised Savior, Jesus. Jesus is here. That was fun pretending to be a kid who was there to see and hear about this wild man that we call John the Baptist. John came a long time ago to tell people that they needed to get ready to meet Jesus. How can we get ready to meet Jesus? Well, John said that the people needed to repent, which means to turn away from your sin. Sinning is when we do things that keep us from being close to God. Sometimes our attitudes, our actions, or both, aren't pleasing to God. But who can help us change our attitudes and actions and forgive us of our sins? God can. When we repent, God's forgiveness can change us from the inside all the way out. And as God changes us, we become more like Jesus. 
The good news is that Jesus is here and he's our savior. And as we repent and trust God, he will give us everything we need to follow Jesus. God gets us ready for the good news. Isn't that awesome? I encourage you to take time and talk with those around you about how God gets us ready for the good news. And I'll see you all next week for the Big God Story. Goodbye.